Alright, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. Yo. This is season two, episode 10. I am your host with the most Los, aka Public Enemy 59. And behind the magic of it all, we got Eli, aka JRX. What's up? Jerks. Uh, so we got a great week of content today. A lot has happened, so we're going to jump right into it. Fuck it, let's go. First thing we're going to start with is pop culture. Pop. pop. All right. Uh, <laughs> so first thing we're going to start it off is with some drama. All right? And I like me some drama. Drama? Some, my, uh, You know, my family is Salvadoran. I love me drama. Yeah, I want yeah, some more yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. First thing we're going to see is that Gucci Man, in an interview with uh, Char- Charlemagne, Charlemagne the guy. Charlemagne the guy. Charlemagne. Started going off on DJ, what's his name? Envy. DJ Envy and uh, what's old girl? Angela Yee. Angela Yee. Called, called Angela Yee a bitch. He called her this, not me. Yeah. Angela Yee. So yeah. he went off, apparently. I don't know the, the, the very essence of it, but apparently he was saying that these people uh, were talking about his, his life, his marriage, his girl. He brought up the occasion where uh, DJ Envy got pissed at uh, uh, the those guys from Showtime. What's it called? Uh, when they brought up his girl and he went off on them, he he was saying like, "Oh, but you know that's why he didn't show up today because he knew I would I would have popped out. I would have had some. I would have set the shit out them up." All right. So so tell me what was going on over here. Uh well basically they're saying oh, shit. oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. Um, basically they were saying, he was saying that, oh, the that Angela Yee was trying to get it in back in the day, for real. but that she was acting brand new. Like she wasn't, mm-hmm. she was like asking where he was staying at the hotels mm-hmm. and like she, he was like, he don't play that, but she's like, no, I never did that and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And basically she's, she's like being painted in a new, in a quote unquote new light. But I don't know. Uh, it's interesting. It's what's really interesting to me is going to be what what comes out of like the whole trio with Charlemagne in it because he's part of the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. Like, is that going to be like an issue for them for moving forward? Like, hey, you, uh, didn't, you didn't even defend us. You didn't say nothing about us. You look, just man, stood there and took it. There's been a lot of occasions where someone gets hated on on that show, and really, no one kind of steps in. It's kind of like. Yeah, it's I mean, happened that, it's before. They're all there and present, but this is yeah. like him alone having an interview. What with is Gucci he? Man. I mean, he's probably right. DJ Envy was probably talking shit. Well, DJ Envy came marriage. out in a post said that he wasn't talking shit about him. Of course, he's gonna say that. <laughs> of course, he's gonna say that because he, he don't want to be wrong. But I wouldn't be surprised if DJ Envy was talking shit. Mm-hmm. And now, I mean, what if, if I was Charlie Man? I ain't gonna defend this motherfucker. Especially he he probably heard the shit being said. No. He probably heard it. He remembers it. Why are you going to defend somebody who's in the wrong? Like, why are you going to step in? I don't know. It's like, them's, them's, them's your peeps, your team. You're, you're right or die, and you're going to just not mm, do nothing know. for I them? I don't know about that. I wouldn't ride or die for DJ Envy, to be honest. Ooh. To be honest. I, I ain't riding or dying for that, man. Ooh. Well, I like it. <laughs> I like the drama, so give me more of it. Gucci man, I say they interview Gucci man, and just let well, out all the dirt. Supposedly on the radio. No, well, supposedly he's been banned from coming back because he was already there once, and they were scary. <laughs> That's why. Why would you ban the man? Oh my god, they're scary. All right. Um, next thing, big news in the Star Wars universe. Uh, the new trailer, the final trailer, the final trailer for the rise of uh, Star Skywalker. Star Walker, Star Walker, Skywalker, Skywalker, Star Walker. Did you Star get your tickets already? I got my tickets already. Uh, I did not. I'll, I'll get them though. They're almost um, sold out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, the matters we need to do a review on it. True. I'll watch it. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, I'll watch it. It's just the culmination is just not, this ain't return of the Jedi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the new hope Empire Strikes Back built it up so well that when Return of the Jedi popped out it was a phenomenon. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, uh, 
Rise of Skywalker has already broken some records as far as a pre-sale. Yeah. Um, but I just not feeling that high that the hype it deserves because you know some fucking director screwed up the last one. So whatever. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. What do you think of the of the trailer? Uh, it it, it seems like it's really hyped. It, it looks interesting, but. Uh, it does look good. It, it does look good, but for me, it's just like uh, I'm. I'm good with the trailer. Like I saw a little bit of it, didn't see the whole thing, so I'm like, I'm good. I'm gonna. I'm I wouldn't gonna, be surprised I'm if most of it doesn't even show up. Regardless, you know, I've been watching all these movies for so long. I'm like, like that's not gonna change no matter what Ryan Johnson tries to do and fuck everything up. But um, yeah, no, I'm excited. All right. Well, um, let us know if you guys are excited about Star Star Wars: Rise of uh, Skywalker. Have you bought your tickets? I will. I will. I'm just not like, eh. Just not in a rush. Uh, Kanye. Ye. Just popped out with his new album, Jesus is King. Jesus is King. Now, he got some pretty good song in there. Pretty good songs. Two, you know, plural, two, three. Every, every hour is Salah. Follow God. Close on Sunday. On God. Everything we need. Water. God is. Everything we need is good. God. Use the gospel. Jesus is Lord. Uh, every everything we need is good. I like uh, uh, what was the one uh, the one that everybody's on right now? I don't know. I haven't listened to any of this. I didn't even know that he. Uh, had follow album. God. Follow didn't God even, is good. Didn't even know he had a new album out. Uh, yeah, yeah, he popped it out and uh, it's uh decent. It's it's you know what? It reminds me a lot of old Kanye. Oh really? Original Kanye. Okay. But there's just not. As much like overall, it reminds me of that. Mm. Do I think that every song like old Kanye would have done it? Every song, every song is a is a hit. No, no, it's not. Uh, you know, he's he's going this avenue. There's a lot of gospel stuff in there, which sounds good, but it's not something that I'm gonna like. Oh yeah, let me pop this on every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let me have this on replay. Like I said, there's uh. Everything we need is a really a pretty good song. The best song I think it was of course follow follow uh, God, mm-hmm. which is that's a banger. That's one where you could just have on replay and boom 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 boom. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I, I do like this route he's taking. I think it's uh, I think it's a much better route than he's taken bef- before in in the recent years. Yeah. And it reminds me of old Kanye. Some of the stuff in here. The the beats the, the his delivery reminds me of lyrics reminds me of old old Kanye. I like it. You know college dropout. You know college dropout. College dropout Kanye. Uh, that's what uh that that album inspired me to drop out of college. Um, you went to college. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so uh, anything <laughs> else you want to add to that? No, I mean Kanye is Kanye to me. From what I've heard though, the there was some like. He was trying to get on his wife. Uh, I don't know if you know her, Kim Kardashian. Oh, okay. Uh, he was telling her something about, oh, she dressing too sexy or something. I don't know. But then that she clapped back. She's like, this is who I am from the beginning. Don't try to change me, boy. Yeah, she. Uh, I because think she was like talking to a reporter about it, doing yeah. an interview, and then she said that Kanye brought that up, and then she was like, yep. She shut that shit down real quick. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, should. it, ah, it is weird. Now you're saying, telling her to chill. I think it's because he's going through like a change himself, like a metamorphosis. Mm, he's so going, he's, he's kind of getting it, closer to God. He's going. Mm, I mean, Jesus is king. Mm, Jesus is king. Maybe he's. Yeah, he's making money off of it. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> let us know what you think of Kanye. That is always a great topic to talk about. Um. So, all right, that's been Pop Culture. We're going to move on to sports. Ah, touchdown. It's a home run. Goal. Sports. Sports. Space sports. All right. Uh, uh, as we saw in the last series, CC Sabathia is calling it a, a, a career. A career, yeah. He's out. He's out. He's gone. The Astros whipped that ass. <laughs> he can't do anything more. He messed up his shoulder in that series with the Astros. He's calling it a career. He's had a great career. Um, from his Twitter account, 
He posted, it all started in uh, Vallejo, California, in my grandma's backyard, throwing uh, grapefruits at a folding chair. I could have never imagined how much of this game has meant to me since. Through the ups and downs, baseball has always been my home. From Cleveland to Milwaukee, New York, and everywhere in between, I'm so thankful to have experienced this journey and with every teammate, past and present. All I ever wanted was to be a great teammate and win. I'm so proud of this year's team. We fought till the end. Love you guys. I'm going to miss out. I'm, I'm going to miss going out uh, there on the mound and competing. But it's time for, to say farewell. Thank you, baseball. Hey, respect. He's but, he, uh, but he's leaving because of an injury too, right? Well, I mean, it's a combination of things. His age, his body, and then, boom, he got the injury. So yeah. it's just kind of like, man, he could come back next year and – his well, he, body might he, he can there was train discussion all he wants. of him coming back but only if his shoulder was still good or not yeah it's just a long shot i don't see it happening but hey great career he's uh going into the hall of fame no doubt about it uh so yeah work hard work hard <laughs> uh the nba regular season has started uh and Right away, I'm seeing on my end that uh, man, the Clippers look pretty good. They don't yeah, even they have do. they don't even have Paul George. He's yeah, out at the moment, and they are beating good teams already. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like uh, I saw y'all show your guys show. Most of y'all were picking the Clippers number one in the West. I oh believe. yeah, yeah, for the Hump Day show. Yeah. Uh. So it seems that's kind of like proving. Uh, correct so far. Yeah. Um, wh- what are your thoughts on it? Uh, as a human being who doesn't really watch so many sports anymore, um, yeah, Clippers gonna win. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, did you see how Patrick Beverly called out Golden State? No, I didn't. He was like, cause they beat him, right? Uh, they beat Golden State. Uh, mm-hmm. the Clippers. So they beat L.A. They beat Golden State. They're on a you're on a little roll right now, mm-hmm. uh, minus Paul George. Mm-hmm. Um, and pa- Pat Beverly got on, on Twitter. I don't know what it was, online. And what, it's basically like, oh, I see y'all now. Uh, you know, y- y'all were y- – y- I, see, I see how it is now without KD. Uh, you see, y'all were cheating before, but y'all ain't get, you know, be- y'all ain't going to get that done anymore. Like, yeah, just calling them out, saying that KD was the reason they were, like, really good. Now that they don't have KD, they're trash. Basically calling them out bad. I think he did this uh, in a post-game interview. Let's see. According to Bleacher Report, uh, Los Angeles Clippers guard Patrick Beverly joked with arena workers at Golden State's Warriors' new home, Chase Center, about the departure of Kevin Durant after the team's uh, 141-122 victory over the Dubs on Thursday night. Uh, the previously dominant Warriors looked more mortal, looked like mere mortals. Excuse me. Uh, let, here, let me put this on. And Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports provided comments per- Beverly made during a lighthearted exchange with the staff. Y'all a little different without KD. Oh, quote. This is uh, Patrick Beverly. Quote. Y'all a little different without KD, I see. He said, uh-huh. Y'all cheated long enough. It's okay. Y'all had a good run. Back to reality. Damn. For Patrick Beverly. Yeah. Averaging 11 points, if that. Uh, <laughs> six assists and uh, eight or seven rebounds per game. <laughs> yeah. Patrick Beverly calling out Golden State. Bro, I would be pissed. I mean, but Golden State doesn't have Clay Thompson either right now. True. And it doesn't seem that he'll be coming back this year from reports I heard. Uh, yeah. I believe he's not coming back this year. So, yeah, it's not looking good for Golden State. I mean, especially when you're, one of your all-stars is out, you know. So, all you really got right now is Steph. Yeah, and Draymond. And, and Draymond kind of holding down the forward. And for Steph to – Steph's going to have to have 50 points almost every night to kind of get the team going. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's not looking good for them. Um, But, uh, yeah, man, I, I think – I think it's been fun overall because you got these teams you know, stepping into the season, uh, going at it. As you can see, you know, rivalries are being made, yeah. uh, you know. So it's good. I think it's good for the game. The parity in these teams uh, is good Is good for the uh, basketball, you know. Oh, you saw the signs they were holding up uh, at the Rockets game. Uh, mm-hmm. We stand with China. You know, freedom. Uh, uh, there was one. I remember there was one. They were doing like a. It's not a kiss cam, 
But it was one of those cameras. Oh, the already, dance cam. The it was a dance cam. cam. Yeah. The little, kid, the little kid got him so much. Oh, nasty. so good. He had a shirt up that said uh, the team's name. And as soon as they pointed the camera at him, yeah. he dropped that shirt. Yeah, to too. with the quickness. With the quickness, he dropped that one. And then he had the other one that says Free Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dang, got oh, it. it's just so good, yeah. man. Yeah, so um, the Chinese National Basketball Association is getting burned left and right, and I love it. I mean, that's what they should expect to be happening. Yeah, if you don't stand with freedom. Yeah, freedom is yeah. bad, apparently. Yeah, freedom is bad. Don't make you money. <laughs> uh, last thing of sports. The World Series for the uh, Major League Baseball is going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the Washington Nationals going up against the Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time of this recording, it is 2-1. Washington is up against the Astros. Ooh. At the release of the recording, I expect... Uh, you know, Astros to be down 3-2 going into home. We'll see how it ends up. Really? I think that uh, Astros win another one on Saturday night. Which is today. Which is today at the time of this recording. But then that'll be 2-2. 2-2. Washington takes the last one at home. 3-2. 3-2. And then uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, series comes back to, to uh, Houston. And uh, Cole takes the mound on on uh, Game Six, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, Granky Game Seven, and I think the Astros take it in seven games. Okay, that is my prediction. I'm sticking with it. Fuck you if you don't believe. Okay, uh, that is it for sports. <laughs> uh, oh, I also want to mention yeah. uh, uh, Juan Soto, uh, this young. Gorgeous. He just turned 21 years old, oh, uh, you know, outfielder for the Washington Nationals. His birthday was on f- this past Friday. Game, happy, happy birthday. Game three. Happy birthday. He went oh for 5 whatever it was. Didn't hit a goddamn thing. Couldn't play outfield well. Got his ass done up on his birthday. And I am here for it. Okay. All right. Happy birthday, Juan Soto. Happy birthday. Uh, we are now going to move on to our last segment of the show, gaming. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Game over. Uh, first thing on gaming is Diablo 4. So Blizzard's over here doing some crazy shit. Diablo 4. Well, yeah, Blizzard's uh, BlizzCon is coming up November 1st. All right. Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 got leaked. Is this uh, right? Am I hearing this right? Apparently, there's been some leakage. Happening in the uh, BlizzCon world or Blizzard mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. Um, according to this article from GameSpot. Uh, here, let me pull it up for you guys on the YouTube side. Uh, BlizzCon annual gaming convention held by World of Warcraft developer Blizz, uh, Blizzard Entertainment kicks off next week, November 1st. But the rumor mills already being swirled around. Uh, apparently, there was an advertisement. Um, I think this was uh, an advertisement regarding all the Diablo like art. Book, like art? Mm-hmm. And then in this advertisement, they had Diablo 4 art, which, like, we haven't even heard of Diablo 4 yet yeah. to begin with. Mm-hmm. So, there's that one. It's called The Art of Diablo. Um, it's, a, it's a German magazine. And then there's the other thing about, the, um, <clears throat> about Overwatch 2 is going to be announced during BlizzCon. Um, apparently, let's see, on the GameSpot article, it says two streamers, Metro says, uh, Diablo 4 and, re- and a remaster of Diablo 2 will be announced at BlizzCon. As he posted a series of tweets d- detailing the potential reveal of Overwatch 2. Um, Metro says his source is, quote-unquote, someone tied directly to the uh, Blizz- uh, Blizzard devs, end quote, and notes that Overwatch 2 will be revealed at year, uh, this year's BlizzCon after a short cinematic featuring heroes including May, Tracer, Winston, and the younger Genji. So, and he also, like, put some more information as to what is going to be included, not just, like, uh, Overwatch 2, but details of Overwatch 2. He said there's going to be a PvE, because there isn't a PvE right now. It's all PvP. Oh, okay. Uh, there's going to be a new type of leveling system, uh, changes to the dif- different abilities to the heroes. Uh, he said, for example, quote, uh, there will be an upgrade change to Tracer's Pulse Bomb that makes it so if you stick an opponent, all units close to the target that got stuck will also be stuck with the Pulse Bomb. So that's new because usually it's just one person that gets blown up mm. if it gets stuck on that person. So I'm not surprised that there's an Overwatch 2 in the works. It's been one of their best um, franchises. I'm, I'm not and... going to say I'm not surprised because Overwatch came out in 2016, I believe. Mm-hmm. And like they've been like, like, 
constantly constantly updating yeah. adding new content yeah, yeah, yeah. adding maps adding skins mm -hmm. you know they're one of the ones that don't like charge you for the new maps or the new characters that come sure. out but they they do do the loot boxes that's one thing they do like like majorly of um i don't know uh um with the way that things are too with blizzard uh, i'm kind of like Yes, I'm excited, but yes, at the same time, kind of like, uh... Yeah, because Blizzard stands with China. <laughs> oh, you know, 5% of them does. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get more details. Maybe we'll get a release date. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. I haven't played Overwatch in a while because of the whole, you know, Blizzard thing and China thing. Do you think it's going to release on current gen? Or I, I feel like they'll release it with the new gen, but are they going to make current gen versions yeah i think so i mean why wouldn't you yeah why that's wouldn't, true why wouldn't you want to put it on the system that's been like the most sold like yeah. a playstation or an xbox uh -huh. or whatever good point or all right well we'll see about that i'm excited I, I would probably get into diablo 4 i have diablo 3 so but i, I, I but i never have any anyone to play with that's like a Same. game that's better <laughs> to play with someone yeah. and that's the thing why i haven't really dug into that one but we'll see about diablo 4 Outer Worlds was released on the 25th. Right. Uh, getting some pretty good reviews. I think on Metacritic, it's around in the eights, mid eights. Um, what do you... So I haven't delved into it. I am interested. I do want to take some time and get into it, and I'll have my impressions on it next week. Okay. Once I've put some hours into it. Okay. But I've seen... I've heard you have put some hours into it. <laughs> Not even an hour. Okay, what is, what's right. going on? Well... All right, so yesterday, Friday, October 25th, ooh, excuse me, I I had like an extra thick stream at twitch.tv forward slash JRX4X, played for, was on for like about 12 hours, and you know, they, we did a giveaway, we played some games. Who won the damn copy of Call of Duty? Ah, man, there was so much controversy with that fucking giveaway, it pissed me off too, because like, I was like, okay, this person won. And then everybody in the chat was kind of like, well, like 50% of the chat was like, well, they're not here, so they shouldn't win, so we should like give it to somebody else. I was like, no, like I don't do that. And then somebody in the chat was like, yeah, you did, you did it last year, last week, uh, last month for the last giveaway. <laughs> I'm like, I did. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I was here because I won something, and then you gave it away to somebody else. I was like, no, I didn't. And then sure enough, I went back and looked at it, and he had won the the runner-up prize, the second prizes. He didn't he didn't win the main one, which was Borderlands three last month. And I was like, no, you won the other one, which didn't have any rule sets to it. That was just a random thing that we did for an extra giveaway, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the people who didn't win the main one. But you weren't here. He's like, oh, OK, OK, never mind. I was like, bro, it was literally like 30, 45 minutes of going back and forth with everybody because like uh, Lexi won. But she wasn't uh, she wasn't on. But I know she was on during the day because she she was there in the morning. She was there in the afternoon and a little bit at night. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't I don't I wouldn't expect someone to be throughout the whole 12 hour stream. Right. Yeah. If you if you get in, you get in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the whole reason, too, is like the, the, the giveaway ran for like a month. But anyways, uh, so I was playing this game. Uh, I was playing mostly I was playing COD. Uh, I played uh, and I had downloaded out of worlds. And uh, okay, well, leading up to this week to playing Outer Worlds, I I was under the impression it was multiplayer. It's not. No. Um, what made you think that? Because there was a there was a video, a gameplay video that I saw. Yeah. That had multiple uh like character names like on the screen, like mm. if they were your teammates. Yeah, so you have like, a squad. Yeah. You have a squad. I didn't know. I didn't oh, tell okay, that. okay. And I assumed those were real people. Oh no! So, so you I was were like, let down oh. from the get go. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> wait. Those are bots? I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. And, the, and then the reviews started coming out this week. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's it's like Fallout New Vegas. And a lot of people are, are bringing because, it. Because, you know, Obsidian made this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like, oh. So did you, how, how long did you play? So then I, I downloaded the game on the Xbox One X because for some reason the PC version wouldn't download for me. I started it up, made my character. Started going through the like the beginning phases of the game where you go like you know the tutorial mission like, basically, and like literally maybe like ten minutes in, hit the Xbox button, went back to the the media menu and uninstalled it. You're such a. I was okay. like, fuck this game. Okay. I hate Fallout. Do not do not let me. Okay, play look, this game look, 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 look. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas. I've never played it, but I hear it's like 
very different than the fallouts that Bethesda does, mm -hmm. right? So I can't really say, because I don't like the fallouts that Bethesda does. I didn't like Fallout 4. I thought it was boring, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, send me all the hate mail you guys want, please. Uh, uh, Public Enemy 59 on Twitter. Yeah. Um, but I hear this one is more like New Vegas, and New Vegas is very different from the linear... The fallouts that have come, uh, you know, the other fallouts. So, I'm willing to give this game a try, right? Because, yes, I don't like Fallout overall, but I hear New Vegas is, like, one of the best, and it's, like, different, right? It's not regular Fallout. So, well, good luck with that. and then I hear this one has a lot, uh, Outer Worlds has a lot of um, people also comparing it to Mass Effect. And I hear a lot of good things about them Mass Effect. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to give this game a shot. Like I said, next week, I'll give y'all my impressions. I'll let y'all know what I think about it. Yeah. I'm going to go in with an open mind. I'm going to give it a couple of hours, see where I stand. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Nope. Tell us what you guys think of Outer Worlds. Um, speaking of Fallout, yep. Fallout 76 is getting paid private servers. Yeah, they are. The subscription-based model will charge you monthly. I believe it's... $14.99? $12.99. Yeah. And you get private servers. You get, like, the the game currency to buy stuff. The caps. Yeah, and you get... What else do you get in this damn subscription so service? So, they're calling this Fallout First, I oh think. God. And basically, it's a monthly private server. It's basically, you get a private server. That's it. With you and four friends or six... Up to six people or four people? I don't know. Um... Uh, this is a terrible fucking idea. Number, it is. Number one, they delayed their NPC update because it's not ready. It's a shocker. Uh, number two, I don't like Bethesda, Bethesda, whatever, in general. I think that's a horrible gaming development company. All they want to do is develop uh, trash collecting games. I fucking hate them. <laughs> I don't like them. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, Elder Scrolls, man. Okay. God, That's the right. one thing that you do. Dude, their do games right. are so fucking boring. Like, I don't understand how people like their games. What? Like, Elder Scrolls is solid. It's it's so fucking... There's nothing to Oblivion. do. Oblivion? Like, it, it's, it's one it's of like, the best games like, ever made. It's like you're fucking cardboards and walking around in this, like, dry-looking-ass world. And you're just, like, slashing at shit that doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't even make contact. Like, it just... I don't know. It's hey, like you're ghost Oblivion. them. Enough said. It's trash. Continue. Dude. Continue. Anyways. <laughs> this trash-ass company, Bethesda... <laughs> They <laughs> they delayed their updates, and I think this is this was an update that was gonna come out with the whole NPC thing. But since they had had to continue working on the on the NPCs, they decided just to go ahead and roll this out. But they even they even made a post, I believe, on Reddit, like kind of being like, "Oh, I know we're gonna get hate for this." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Of course you are, you fucking idiots! How are you gonna charge me a hundred dollars a year or twelve ninety nine a month?" To have a private server to play with my friends who can't even play on that server if I'm not on. So if me, the person who mm. bought the server, is not on, yeah. they can't play. Mm. I was no, like, and it's stupid. Okay, I don't know. compared to other pricing models out there, for example, you have uh, Game Pass. Game Pass is how much per month? $9.99? $9.99. $9.99 per month. You get hours of content, free games. Multiple that come with games. Multiple games. Um, and <laughs> you want to charge me twelve ninety nine to get something for one game, which the player base is way down. Mm -hmm. I, I just very out of whack for me. Very out of whack. I don't um, know. Um, again, I, I'm a. I, you can call me a hater, but this uh, I just don't like them. Maybe the, the people who actually play this game are, like, happy about it. Maybe they were the ones asking for it. I don't know. I don't care. Like, this company, I'm, I'm done with them. Like, I don't know. I just don't like them. They're so cool. <laughs> they suck, dude. All right, all right. Take it them. easy. Take it easy. But that's the sucks. We get it. Uh, let's move on before jerks kill somebody. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I agree with you. It's a It's terrible. It. Uh, it seems like they were on the right path, putting out content, and now they're just charging people for now the new content. I don't know. It's not a good model. Anyways, what can I do? I mean, I, don't, I have the game. It came with my Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. uh, it came in a bundle. 
it's the white Xbox. That's why I wanted it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but to, I've touched that game. I probably put a couple of hours and I just like, yeah, no, not going to do it. Um, PlayStation last of us two has been pushed back delayed. So just a month ago, these guys came out with this cool ass trailer, a bunch of information. It looked like last of us two was on its way. March release, right? Or April release. April. Mm -hmm. And now a month later, they're saying, Oh, delayed. I don't mind the game getting delayed. My problem is, like, why not include this all together with that announcement you had? You're getting people hyped. People are pre-ordering your game. And then a month later, you want to say, oh, guess what? It got delayed. Um, I'm actually okay with this. I mean, I'm cool because with it. They, being they, need, to, they yes. need to spread that, that, that release window date up because... Dude, there's a shit ton of games coming out during the beginning of the year. You're right. You're right. You're right. There so is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm kind of okay with something being delayed, especially <laughs> being a single player game. Like yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I agree. Um, I just wish they would have done it all in conjunction. But what can you do? I know a lot of people are anticipating this game big time, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer now. Um, but I think in the end, it's all worth it because if they can take time to make this game better. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it was initially going to be released February 21st, but then they pushed it back to May 29th. So was it like two months? Three months? Oh, February to May? Yeah. Oh, that's three months. months. That's three months. Damn. Yeah. That's more than you told me. That is that is a big delay. Yeah. That's a whole quarter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole quarter. Different quarter. Um, but yeah, let us know if you guys uh, are pissed. Are you uh, canceling your pre-orders? Or who are you killing? Let us know. <laughs> um, last thing we want to talk about, Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out. Did it? It came out, yes. Huge. I went to go pick it up Thursday night. Been popped it in. Then I saw the huge update. So I waited till Friday to play it. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm not going to stay up all night to wait for this damn download. Um, but yeah, uh, I dove into some multiplayer. You've... Have done both oh, multiplayer yeah. and single player. Uh, I played a little bit of the the story to begin with uh, yesterday when I when I did that stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, that the the story is like heavy, heavy, like in realism set 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 environment world. Yeah, it's like oh my, like like I told I was telling I was telling Lois earlier like before we started the podcast I was like dude that story like the beginning scenes where spoilers i guess it's like re- literally the beginning scenes not even like five minutes into the game um the first thing you see is like this whole terrorist thing happening where like you see a group of terrorists uh, like pulling up in a van with one of them strapped with the with bombs on his chest and he's like in london he's walking into like this huge open public area and he w- walks out the uh, the van with the with the bomb strapped to him and the first thing you see as he walks out is a little kid I'm like, oh, 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 they're really going for it. Oh. That's how it is, man. Yeah. That's war. Look at a uh, freaking, uh, what is it? Uh, the Turks, man, getting killed. You got little kids dying. Yeah. They're just trying to relay that to you. So, uh, so what do you? So, for how far did you get into the story? I played about, uh, like. I played for like about an hour or two, but really like maybe got like about an hour into the story itself yeah. because my dumbass put it on like the hardest difficulty. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I put it on realism. Hell It's no. actually not that bad. Oh, it's, is it? It's not that bad, but like, yeah, you do die pretty fast. <laughs> it, but yeah, I've been playing it like that, you know, just to get rid of the HUD and just play the game and just, you know, go through the motions of the story missions. Um, but yeah, the story seems pretty interesting on top of that, but it's like typical COD like once you start playing it. Like you just go from place to place and shoot. Things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing too like amazing. Um, I played a bunch of multiplayer yesterday, oh, last yeah, night. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, a lot of team deathmatch. I didn't do the two v two. What's that called? Gunfight. Gunfight. I didn't do that. Uh, oh, by the way, me and Jerks will be doing a uh, hump day show. Hump day show, and we're gonna be playing gunfight. We're gonna put that out to you guys. So make sure you tune in for Wednesday so you can see us get killed in gunfight. Uh, anyways. I did a lot of team deathmatch, uh, you know, control. You're, all that. you're on PlayStation, right? I'm on PS4. Yes. All right, I'm on Xbox. Uh, so uh, I was playing it, and it, it it was fun. I had a lot of fun. I was playing with uh, my cousin Leo from uh, 
uh, Canada uh, with my homeboy B. Uh, it was really fun, man. It, yeah. I like the gunplay. You got your Activision account? Shit, we can be playing crossplay then. Yeah, we can. Yeah. That's you... what I was going to tell you right now is to add me because, uh, yeah. it's... Oh, oh, my Activision account is, uh, Public Enemy 59, so just add but me. But there's numbers attached to it, too. Is it? Yeah. No, just add me, Public Enemy 59. No, I know, but no, there's, no, 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 there's no. like a hashtag no, and no, the numbers. There's not. Yeah, it's there not. is. I promise. No, there's not. I promise. You're wrong. Uh, anyways, <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> anyways, um... I thought it was really fun, man. I turned to my sensitivity, and the game was like, okay, mm-hmm. I could get used to this. I like the weapons. I was barely ranking up. I don't even have attachments on them yet. Wait until I get some attachments on them. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even get a lot of time to customize my builds. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to like level up. It, it kind of, I really like it. I like the the maps. Some people are saying the maps are trash. They don't like the maps. I like the maps. Mm, there is some maps that piss me off. I was like, man, this is perfect for campers. Yeah, Which, by exactly. The way, I ran like into a shit ton the, of them. You have a bunch of people camping, and to be honest, it just kind of like if you're playing solo, it might get frustrating. But if I'm in a squad, I can like, hey, there's this guy camping over here. Flank this way, flank that way. We take that out, then we start fucking taking over the camp. <laughs> well, know? to be honest, I haven't played with anybody specifically. Like, I played with this other streamer named Death Nest, but mm-hmm. uh, we were just play- playing like, uh, like what's it called, Cyber Attack. Yeah. But he wasn't really communicating with me, so I, I really still felt like I was playing like alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really haven't played with a group of people, but so far, like. Playing it, I don't, uh, first of all, I don't touch Team Deathmatch. Fuck that cancerous, like, game mode. I don't like Team Deathmatch. I think okay. it's the worst. Okay. Um, I, I like the games that have the objectives to them. But anyways, um, yeah, I played a lot of, like, Domination, Cyber Attack, uh, Gun Game, and uh, Gunfight. Uh, the Gunfight one, man, dude, it's so much fun. It, yeah, it I looks like good. It. I, I know we played it from the beta, and it felt good then. Yeah. Uh, and now to be able to level up my, my you know, my, my builds and all that uh, you know it just seems um, like that's going to be more fun one thing i did notice is that they haven't released all their game modes like for example they don't have a multiplayer like search to to find uh the game modes that have the the, the maps at night mm. like those are not available at least not not on friday I oh on you friday. mean the uh the the night vision one the night vision mode yeah, oh okay I, I, I see i didn't have I enough time to go through the I mode so I'll... i couldn't play that one without playing it on like a private game oh yeah. okay so hopefully it comes soon um i yesterday as well i was uh, as i was playing the game they updated the servers or something and initially like ground war was in there which is like their 30 versus 30 mm-hmm. i believe yeah and then with oh, the yeah. update, that it, was there it, last night. And then, and then last night it updated and then it got added in. I didn't so, get to play it though. I'm wondering if they're gonna be doing that. Is they're gonna be sprinkling in the game modes? Yeah, like there. events and, or, or yeah. But but the thing is, is that they advertise this game with all those game modes. So mm-hmm. I'm like, mm, where are my game modes? Like for example, they they were advertising two v twos, three v threes, four v fours. I'm like, where yeah. is that at? And then yeah. they didn't advertise. The battle royale, but I'm really hoping they have that. Like this game feels like it would be perfect for BR. You think? Uh, yeah. I don't. I kind of don't want the battle royale. I I, I don't want it. I don't I do. need it. I'm Black this Ops, game doesn't need it. And Black Ops Four, I didn't even touch like the multiplayer. Once I started getting into the battle royale, it was so much. Good. It's so much fun. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't. I don't know. My understanding was that this game was not supposed to have battle royale. But oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, I don't know. I don't uh, know. Yeah, my understanding is that this game is not supposed to have that. Um, but I'm liking it so far. I will give y'all more in depth reviews. Like I said, watch the Hum Day show. We'll have more to say about the game there. Uh, let us know if you guys have it. Add us. You know, Public Enemy Fifty Nine Dash whatever my numbers are. J R X Four. Uh, Add me. Boom. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's been our show. Uh, I don't think we have any final punches, do we? Uh, no. I don't no, I don't either. I don't have any. I'm, I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. No final punches. I don't want to punch anybody. Okay. All right. Well, that's been our show, guys. Thank you for watching this week. Remember, Wednesday, uh, we have our hump day show. Uh, this is, uh, the three-way podcast every Monday coming at you on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Yep. Uh, you know, thank you to Anchor for giving us the ability to put this everywhere. Yep. Uh, so please follow, subscribe, share, help us out over here. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you. Let us for continuing to let us do this. Yep. Uh, thank you for watching this week. 
I am Public Enemy, aka Lowe's. Thank you for watching. That's Jerks. Thank you. Peace. Okay, bye. Wait, what about those patas over there? I see patas on the screen.